Hey guys! So I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective, so if anything here doesn't resonate for you, I want you to just discard it and leave it for the Cancer who needs to hear it. Remember that there is no gender in Tarot, I could pull a queen and still be talking about a guy and all that, right? I'll pull two separate energies in the spread. The first I'll call yours. The second should be your person's, but if they fit better in the opposite, just go ahead and switch sides. The same goes for cross watchers. If you need to book a private personal reading, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. I've also linked a friend's channel there if you want to check her out. She is amazing. <clears throat> Give me the tea on Cancer's Love Life, please. Thank you. Uh-oh. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. The overall energy is the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. We have the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Lovers, Gemini energy, Strength, Leo energy, the Queen of Cups. The Two of Wands, The Lovers, Leo Energy, The Ten of Swords, The Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups. You know, I'm looking at a Cancer who knows that their person is fighting with them because there's someone coming in between the relationship. If there's a third party here, it doesn't have to be romantic, just to be clear. I, I always make sure that I say that, you know, the Queen of Pentacles can be a mom, but it definitely could be another, you know, another lover. I feel like you're really tired of this and you're just kind of rising above it. It's like you, I feel like, have been, it's it's kind of like, you know, there's a, a good reason for you to fight, but you don't. You just hold your peace. Um, maybe you feel like this person, there is no winning. It's not even somebody that you, there's no reason to argue or fight. You're not going to get anywhere. In your mind, this person chose what they chose, and you're good with that. The sun. You're happy in life. You're, you're emotionally fulfilled on your own. It's interesting to have the sun and the ten of swords there. It's sort of like, you know... You just want to, you're just choosing your happiness. You know that you're being betrayed by these two people. Or at least that King of Cups, you know. So it seems to me like this is a relationship that is over 
you know? You don't talk to this person. You're happy without them. You know what they did. You knew that there was no reason to fight for it. I'm just wondering why this is a... Uh, pop it up here. I mean, I get it. Somebody was deceptive in your relationship. They allowed someone else to come in between it. You made the final decision to go ahead and choose yourself and choose happiness and end things with this person. Whether they were the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Cups, either way, there, there was just somebody else that, I don't know, you just weren't having it. You don't talk to this person, though. The first energy out is the High Priestess. What's interesting is like, you know, I feel like you knew this without somebody telling you because the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are both about, you know, being almost like psychic with it. Some of you have a lot of Gemini and a lot of Leo in your chart, a lot of Leo and a heavy Gemini placement. And you're just psychic because people can't run anything by you. But I don't feel like you talk to this person and I feel like, you know, either they're in another connection or maybe they're talking, you know, I don't know. Let's see why this person is showing up. Why is the King of Cups here? Tell me about the King of Cups. Because I see a Cancer that's perfectly happy on their own as long as they don't have to fight with nobody, have no drama, no arguments. Like, love is not the first thing on your mind. I feel like you're more concerned with your future, looking bright, being happy. I feel like you're actually in love with yourself here. Okay. So we have the Queen of Wands. The Harfont, Taurus energy. Seven of Swords. Three of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, the Tower, Aries Scorpio, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. And there's that pentacle energy again. Ah! What goes around comes around. <laughs> that's all I could. That's literally what popped in my head. It made me laugh. I don't even like that song, but literally, cancer. What goes around comes around. So they may have been dealing with a, a Sagittarius here. Um. The Sagittarius, a ho ho, a ho ho. <laughs> you know, this is the Queen of Wands. They like a lot of, t of attention. You know, they they'll do anything for attention. Honestly, <laughs> like it's uh, you know they're a very charming person, so they definitely attract people. They're always very good looking, but at the end of the day, she is the master of black magic. She will have you believing that she's in love with you and not give one damn about you. You know. It's a, a master of illusions. And this person was your person's karma. But of course, now that that happened, they, they're coming around and trying to come back to you. But there's a whole, I mean, like, they're really catching karma. We, you know, Judgment, the Tower, the Hierophant is out here. There's a big ending on their end, and now they want to come back towards you. That's why they're showing up here. But like I said, you're not talking to this person. I feel like you chose yourself a, a while ago. This, you know, They went and got in a whole other relationship since then. Okay, so somebody chose a hoe over you. That's good. <laughs> but 
I mean, like, what's going on here? What does Cancer not know that they need to before the next couple of days? Whoa. Okay, we have the world. The Fool. Aquarius energy. The Emperor. Aries energy. The King of Wands. The Hermit. The Two of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Knight of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer, so you have somebody else too. Gemini, Libra, Chorus. Heavy Aquarius here. You're not dealing with this person. <laughs> you're just ghosting them. Like, I think, I think that you're in love with somebody else here. A Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, possibly. Could be an Aries or a Virgo. But, like, they, they done messed around at the wrong time. I mean, they're about to get hit with the double karma because, like, they're over here getting cheated on, lied to. This person could have stole from them. You know, and then just left. And then the energy from your end is like, dude, are you serious? I am literally in love with somebody else. Like, I'm going to fucking marry this person and never let them go. <laughs> like, it is so, I like this reading cancer. This was great. Okay. In the advice, we have the four of swords, the wheel of fortune, Aries Scorpio energy, the page of wands, the five of cups at the bottom. Keep your distance. This person's a hoe. <laughs> like, you, know, you already know what it is. I feel like, you know, you know that you will never have anything with this person and that they're only coming around because they're heartbroken over someone else. They didn't mind breaking your heart, right? I don't know what cancer this is for, but this is hilarious and I'm so happy for you guys because it's so reverse energy from anything that I've been reading over the last couple of years, y'all. We got trust. The robin trusts her wings, not the branch she sits on. Again, that intuition. And time. Embrace the dewdrops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. So this is all like happening in divine timing, just to be clear, because the time card is out here, the Wheel of Fortune is out here, the world is out here. You know, I, I feel like not only did, did the divine give you someone who, you know, like really like loves you wholeheartedly, puts you on a pedestal, communicates well with you, they're honest. But they also, you know, they wanted to send this person around to spin the block so that they could look in the house and see just how happy you are, Cancer. And I think that, that there's some type of healing to that, too, you know, because I feel like in the past you were, like, very innocent with this person. You were deeply in love with them, and they just chose to hurt you. And you took the high road out. It's like you could have done something. You could have competed for this person. That's clearly what they wanted you to do. You could have talked shit. You could have, you know, sent screenshots to the person that you knew existed, something like, you know, and you just never did that. You just had complete self-control and let them make their own bed, you know? And I feel like, you know, you were single for a long time. It doesn't matter, though. Whoever you're with now is... They're the one. Yeah. Yeah, this person is all about you. They're a fair person and they're, you know, like they work hard. They're genuinely concerned with making you happy, you know? So it's like, I, and heavy Libra energy here. Heavy Libra, heavy Aquarius. But I also have Gemini, so. Yeah, I don't, I mean, 
you're not this person gets nothing from you and that's what they deserve all right that's what i have for you guys here see you soon